Hello, my name is Alem. I'm from Algeria. I came here for my master degree and that's it. <laughs> Part 45. Let's talk about secrets. One, how many secrets do you have? Um, so for me, I think I have an unlimited number of secrets because how you de do you define secret anyway? It's just any information about yourself that and not like any other person know about you. So if I like something and the other person doesn't know, so automatically I consider that a secret. So I will say that, yeah, I have too many secrets. <laughs> Question number two. If your friend is doing something dangerous or illegal, would you tell their parents or teacher? I think I'll tell their parents. Well, it depends like on the culture you come from. So from like uh, in the perspective of my country culture, I would say that the teacher won't do anything that will help the student. So I would say that uh, like tell the parents. <laughs> Question three. Um, if your friend stole something, would you keep it a secret? Here again, it depends on what my friend like have stolen. So if it's something small, I'll keep it a secret. And if it's too big, I'll tell and maybe even report him to the police. Question four. If you found your sister's or brother's diary, would you read or would you respect their privacy? So this happened to me before and I found my younger sister's diary and I did read it. Well, not fully, but I tried like just slightly um, took a look at it just to know what she's thinking or like if she wrote something about mine. Question 5. Are you concerned about internet privacy? Uh, I used to be concerned about it, but I guess like it's too late now. All our, all of our information are already like stolen and used by like big corporations. So I don't think there is any necessity to to be concerned or worried about that. I think it's way too late now <laughs> with all the social medias and all the information you put. So I think it's not. Um, it won't be any like help to think about it anyway question six what do you think about foreign countries asking you for your fingerprints when you live there um well for me <laughs> as i'm from algeria i don't care quite much about it i had maybe been asked a few times but i think it's like a process that you have to go through if you live in any foreign country so yeah <laughs> that's it question seven when applying for a job is it okay for the company to ask you for your picture oh <laughs> um i think i have to answers for this one. I think it is okay for the company to ask for the picture so that they can have a basic idea about who are they going to interview or employ. So they need to have an idea who you are, not only on papers, but to put a face on the person too. But I think that like this is kind of in a perfect word, but in reality, most of the employers, they need uh, they use pictures to uh, like put biases and discriminate against people. So it's kind of like... Question 8. If you are going to marry someone but had a family secret they should know before you get married, will you tell them? So I think if you're marrying someone you need to tell your own secrets. I don't think family secrets are that important to share because they are not part of 
yourself it's part of your family and I don't think it should interfere with your like marriage or relationship question nine if you want a lot of money would you tell your family friends I would tell my family about like the amount but <laughs> when it comes to friend I think I will keep it a secret not because like of uh, fear of jealousy or them asking me money but I think that um, for like as friends I think we should keep maybe it's because of my culture but we don't like share uh, our information about money or like how much money you make about wages etc question 10 if you had a criminal record would you hide it from your employer yes <laughs> why do i need to tell my employer uh about any criminal record i mean i'm there like i'm go i go to the interview just to like sell myself i need to promote myself why would like uh, show him or her the bad side of my like past or my records I should only show the advantage and what I can offer hi my name is Adam I joined Qualcomm six months ago in, during the summer I have been here uh, mostly to practice my Korean but I'm like super glad that I met a lot of friends here so if you want to talk about like anything any topic different things Come to Colcom and practice your English. <laughs>